hungry and you're cooking, that anger will go into the food. People who eat it, they become more angry. So we're watching also children today, they're very upset, they're very angry because people who are preparing it, they're angry. The animals that you take to cook that Allah has created them for us, they are angry at us because we are treating them with cruelty. Same thing with the plants that we planted. Same thing with the rain, same thing with the ground. Everyone is angry. That's why people are getting more and more angry. And when you are angry, what do you become? You become unstable. Unstable, you lose control. It is another kind of drunkenness. You're unstable. What it happens, what will happen to you then? That without knowing it, <laughs> you feel like this. You say, nothing is happening. But you feel what they call today? Anxiety. Anxiety. Because they don't know how to control that. Are you uh, observing yourself when you're making zikr, how your breathing is? Are you observing yourself when you're working, when you're sleeping, when you're happy, when you're angry, when you're upset, how you are? Huh? How the blood pressure is shooting up? Because what happens when you're upset, when you're angry, your blood pressure shoots up? What is that blood pressure? What is that? What is that? That's making you to, your blood to go up. What is that? Shaitan. Holy Prophet is saying, Shaitan runs in the veins of the children of Adam. It runs. When you're upset, it enters and then it circles around. So one thing, you get upset, your voice changes, your breathing changes. Do the opposite. That's why Prophet is saying, you're angry, you're standing up, sit down. It's still not uh, going, lie down. Still not going. Go and make wudu with cold water. And pray to rakats <sighs> for it to finish. This anger is killing us. It's killing this environment. It is killing individuals. It's killing nations because of this anger. It is inherited from shaitan. So if you're not going to catch yourself at the first moment, when are you going to catch yourself? Oh, I can't help myself. You cannot help yourself. Then you become what? You become You become animal. Even those animals that we have here, barking, barking, the owner comes and says, sit. He listens. It snaps out of it. So we are worse than animals that Allah has said. They may be animals. They, no, they are worse than the animals. Those ones that the animal characteristics that you are not supposed to carry. That's why Shreyavani is always saying the example of who? In the Derga. Bilal. He's never angry. Uh, people cursing at him, he's just sitting there and yelling at him. Do uh, he's, uh, he's not upset. You're going to learn from each other. You're going to learn from each other here. You're not going to fight with each other. So the anger now, it is whatever it is touching, is going to be poison. If you are cooking, the anger, the food is going to be poison. That is a, uh, a poison, that is a shaitan is running through that. Oh, sometimes a woman saying, when is our training going to start? When are we going to have darga? Where? If I begin with a little thing, you're going to run away. Because if I say, for example, did you prepare yourself before you cook? What? How many rakats did you pray? What dua did you recite? What salawats did you do? Oh, uh, mm, uh, mm, then what you want? Understand? Because it is easy to sit and to make the zikr, which your heart is running everywhere else, but when you're doing the work and to remember Allah and to do it properly, that's something else. If you are doing the work and you're doing it properly, that time, yes, 
you will put other things on it. But if you're not doing it properly, you don't know how to do it. Please leave the zikr out. Just say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, the stur madad, and just do properly. Because I see people also, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Bismillah ar-Rahim, Bismillah But everything is a chaos, it's a mess. They don't know how to do it, but they're continually making zikr. I say, no, it's not fitting now. Now, if you're angry and you are building a nation, the whole nation is angry. If you're angry and you're planting something into the ground, it's no good. If anything, what Mawlana is saying about the earth? Hmm? Be like earth. <laughs> Be like earth, huh? In what? Modesty. Be like the earth. Be like the earth in patience, let's say. You know why? Because everyone is stepping on the earth. Everyone. But no one ever puts the earth above their head, no? Only time we're going to do that is when you die. Everyone is stepping on the earth. And the earth itself is saying 70 times a day, oh, you who is stepping on me, should have anything. 70 times a day, the earth is saying. And those of you who are working with the earth, you must know this. Because this is not a place where you just do things like a robot. That it doesn't matter. Um, what matters is the work that you are doing. No, it is the spirit of the work that you are doing that matters. Shavani is saying, Earth is saying to us 70 times a day, Oh, you who are stepping so arrogantly on me, know that very soon you're going to come back to me and I'm going to ground you. Ground, we call this the ground. These are the things that we should be busy with when you're doing your things. These are the things that you should be busy with. Not be busy with your constant uh, problems that are not problems, that you make problems to yourself. Not with constant worry. That if anyone should be worried, it should be the babies that are worried because they're born with nothing. And there's no guarantee anyone is going to take care of them, but they are not worried. What are you worried about? Be worried about yourself, the mess that you make yourself into. <coughs> then, <coughs> give thanks to Allah. So now the anger is a very big problem. The murid should not. Pull themselves back. You don't know how to handle the situation, pull yourself back. You may speak and you may say, how do I do this? Don't try. Fighting, it is forbidden in the Durga. Screaming, shouting to each other, it is forbidden in the Durga. Exceptions, those ones, those ones who are uh, doing work that they are training others, that some maybe authority is given to them, even then. Shreve, and he never liked it when I washed up people. He says, just be, uh, be patient with them. Don't. Well, on the other hand, he's going to say, when are you going to yeah, give some, have some hey, but this and that. So I have to balance the things also. What is important is that you must learn how to make a, a friendship, how to have brotherhood. That time when you have brotherhood, it doesn't matter what kind of voice you use. You understand why. You understand? When you have the brotherhood, you don't care if that one is yelling at you or smiling at you because you understand what is the intention behind it and you're not going to get upset with what is there in front. Because you understand, I'm about to fall into a cliff, that one is screaming at me for me to wake up. It's acceptable. We're forming a brotherhood that is important. That you have to have first. When you have that, then you're going to understand. When you don't have that, you're just going to be different individuals working together. That any small thing is just going to uh, explode between the two of you or the three of you. Or the every little thing is just going to explode. 
Very small thing you're going to take and you're going to... This is nonsense. Shaitan is playing games with you, don't you see? You are here, you're worshipping, you're making zikr, you're doing things, you're following, and Shaitan is now going to trick you and trap you with these small nonsense things. Stop all of that. Otherwise, they're going to stop it for you in a very hard way. Understand? Inshallah. We learn. Wake up a little bit. As much as enough. Wa min Allahu tafiq al fatiha. Assalamu alaikum. Any questions anyone has? Say, inshallah.